Hello everyone. I would like to welcome you all for the vendor briefing session for our organization, which is Society for Promotion of Youth and Masses, uh, commonly known as SPIM. So I would like to begin by introducing you all to our team. I'm Tanushri Kose and I'm the operations manager here. We have Mr. Piyush Sharma, who's also the operations manager. We have Mr. Maruf Ahmed, he is the CTO. And we have Ms. Shilpa Monkar. she is the documentation specialist. Let me start by letting you all know uh, exactly who we are and how we actually work. So, uh, SPIM is a non-profit organization uh, which is located in Toronto. It was established in the year 2017 in order to encourage um, development amongst youth in the city and also in the greater Toronto area. Uh, not only this, SPIM also helps youngsters to train and offer support, uh, guide and mentor them in their areas of interest. Uh, also, SPIM has partnered with government agencies, schools as well as private organizations to achieve their goals. Uh, our major motto here is to give equal chance to the educationally deprived students through skill development and self-employment with the help of our stakeholders and partners. Okay, looking onto the goals of SPIM, uh, we have few goals which we have focused on the year coming ahead. Um, I would like to add that SPIM counsels youngsters to overcome issues like depression, violence and obesity. And we have also undertaken some activities like training and development offering financial support as well as giving international scholarships and promoting innovations. These are the few goals we are looking into. Uh, the first would be training and empowering more than 20,000 uh, youngsters in the coming year. Uh, second would be uh, lowering the crime rate uh, committed by youngsters to 10% annually. And the last would be promoting more than 20% of the youngsters to take postgraduate studies going ahead in their career. So these were the goals. And now I would like to hand over the session to uh, Mr. Piyush Sharma. Thank you. Thank you, Tanushree, for taking us through the objectives and goal of STEM. I am here to present you the purpose of the RFP. SPIM and, and its partners have recently proposed uh, of moving its operation from the traditional manual work to the new digital platform based operations. Some of the reasons behind this technological upliftment is uh, increasing efficiency. We would like to increase our efficiency from the level we are now to a higher level. Eliminating paperwork, we would like to eliminate all our paperwork and digitalize them. Uh, using our resource in a better way and prioritize our tasks. Uh, we would like to reach uh, to all the youngsters uh, who are actively using social media and we would like to connect them through the social media platforms present. The application we are looking for should be compatible with Google Chrome, Safari and Firefox. Uh, it should also be compatible with uh, operating systems such as Windows. The, uh, we look for an IT response time uh, that is less than one hour. We also want the network interruption should be minimal. Ideally, it should be less than 5%. Allocating 20% of time each quarter on uh, planning of strategy and auditing our IT policy. The budget should not exceed 80% of the overall project cost. We also want that the 90% of our staff should be trained in the span of one month. I would like Maruf to continue with the functional specification. Hi everyone, hope, I hope everyone is doing fine. Today is a lovely day in Toronto, today is a sunny day. I hope you are enjoying our session. I hope we are not boring you with our session and with our talkings. But this part is very important for us and important for you too. Because this is our five functional requirements for the organization, which you should take a note about. And you already have our RFP document. Please go through the documents page by page and you can understand it better. So first one is what we want to implement is the issue tracking, uh, issue tracking system. Whether we are, you are providing a software, which software our IT department and IT staff can go through and they can issue any track, uh, issue any tickets. 
and that ticket will be responsible for any problems and they will want to solve it and they will solve it and send the solution to the client end or uh, in client we, i mean our staffs and also it's going to get a copy to the all management staff second one we would like to implement uh, please i hope you are taking the notes so second one uh, which we would like to implement is that desktop application approval system it's a Standalone desk, desktop application uh, software, which we are thinking to implement, uh, install all our employees' devices like cell phones, uh, tablets, desktop, whatever it is. All the devices which uh, have access to the internet and they can check back and uh, do the things. Also, this is software all only can be installed upon confirmation from the top management, especially from the from myself, the CTO, or from the top, top management, which is much above my designation. Third one is a network monitoring for security. Nowadays, uh, cybercrime is uh, increasing very rapidly. So we, you people, come come up with a solution and implement a protocol system which can control the intruder and the blackouts. So blackouts is a very common thing nowadays. Also, so come up with a solution with a good protocol, good strong network security system, and a, uh, how to solve the blackouts. Fourth one. This is a kind of innovative for us too because we are thinking and planning to introduce a cloud-based attendance system because you know many of our employees are working in remotely and in a various project so we want to track their attendance and everything to make their uh, payroll system and everything more proficient and efficient so that is the reason we are trying to, we are thinking of to implement a cloud based and also there will be a manual system for entry exit for every employee who is working in our local offices and the last one is a, as you can see this is stream community internet as you all know what is the internet is we would like to our employee or all other registered staff to log in our internet from any parts of the world so they can simply log into the internet and check their main check any notification, check any emergency alert or any company updates uh, through the internet uh, and they can also give their feedbacks. So these are the uh, functional requirements. So do you, if you have any queries of the functional requirements, just highlight the functional queries of our functional requirements and send it to our common email. The, uh, the email you're gonna get uh, in the next session, you're gonna get to know about the email address. So send all the queries to that email. I will try my best to answer all your queries. So this is all about the functional requirements. For the next session, uh, I would like to uh, I would like to request Ms. Shilpa Amunkar, our document documentation specialist, to conclude the rest of it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Maruf Ahmed. And I'm going to guide you now to the most important parts of this session. That is how we are going to review your proposal and how and what are the responses that we are expecting in the RFP response document. Uh, first of all, to make your case strong, I want to let you know that we have three different panels that will review your proposal. Technical evaluation team, financial evaluation team and the final selection. Our technical evaluation team is going to analyze your document based on functional and technical aspects of your IT solutions. Our financial evaluation team is going to shortlist those proposals from the technical evaluation team and evaluate on basis of cost and pricing. And lastly, the final selection will be done by our higher management, that is our project sponsor. They will be reviewing reports from both these bodies and arrive at a conclusion who will win the proposal. And I just want to let you know that we have other scoring criteria as we have mentioned those in very much detail in our RFE document that we sent you last week. Moving on to the response that we are expecting in terms of your document structure, these are uh, typically the aspect that your document should have a brief summary of your company we would like to know what you are into what is your history the things that you do uh, next one is a blueprint of planned execution that is your approach to implement this IT solution for spin next one is previous relevant experience this is very important for us please bear that in mind and last but not the least timelines and pricing uh, I encourage you to be as innovative and creative when it comes to your response and we would like to know how you can add value to our organization. Uh, we would like to know more about what's your approach, your methodologies and delivery methods and please, be, uh, please feel free to add materials to support these points.
So we have reached the end of this session and thank you so much. You have been a great audience. I would like to uh, remind you that the last day for submitting your response is 31st of December and uh, you can send the response on our email address operations at spin.com. Please keep in mind that we only accept response on our email ID and if you have any questions now you can ask them we will be happy to uh, reply to your questions if not uh, then you can drop in your queries at the same email address you can address it to the right person we will get back to you as soon as we can not to worry about this email address and the deadline i will once again send email to all of you as a reminder and thank you so much we look forward to having a lot of good response for our it solutions thank you so much It's not visible. What we are and who we exactly are. Wait, sorry. Goals? Okay. It's okay, it's just, a, it's just a common thing, man. They will not understand the city will not respond. Alright, okay. They will okay. My bad, my bad, city. They will not go to the director, man. It's common. It's you just can't. a joke. It's a, like a, when you're talking, it's just a joke. Anyway, next session, I'm going to call upon Ms. Shilpa Amunkar to come to the next part of the session. Famous search engines like uh, Google Chrome, Safari, Firefox. It's not search engines, browser. Rating system like Windows and uh, How we are going to? Sorry, I'm going to start again. Okay, it's okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. And um. the last point. Finally, it's done. I'm so tired. Oh my god, this god, is so hot. This meeting room is so hot. I just want to take off this. Maruf, you're feeling very comfortable, isn't it? No, man. You look so. No, I'm yeah. feeling very hot now. <laughs> Thank god it's over. I'm very sleepy. I have to drive like an hour 55 minutes. Oh my god. Uh, we need to return the laptops. Too. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, look at the mess we created. I'm so tired. If Lori, if Lori knew that I wake up at 4 o'clock now, I'm still awake. She's not going to give me a full mark. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm true. directing the movie. I should get full marks. Yeah, you also, man. Nice. No, but he's the CTO. Oh, yeah. yeah he's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 full marks. Hey, I think the camera is still rolling. Really? Yeah. I oh. Think oh, Lori, you are camera. supposed to watch this. <laughs> Hi. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and we all wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas and Happy New Year. Year. Bye. Bye.